Guys, this is Prompt Engineer. This is an interesting paper that I have come across. It's called Idea to Image. Iterative Self-Refinement of GPT-4 Vision for Automatic Image Design and Generation. In just one to two line, if I have to say, this paper deals with mimicking the human actions or human capability of improving the prompt in a text to image generation software. For example, we have an idea and we put that idea into a prompt to a text to image generator tool. The tool gives an output. We are not satisfied with the output and we change the prompt to get a better output. Now we are talking about that capability of a human being to improve the prompt, to find out different qualities or different aspects of the image that is off and we want to improve. So this paper tries to mimic that process. Now let's look at one or two examples and then we would see the methodology of how that was achieved in this paper. So for example, we have this idea in front of us. So the idea is that we want an image and we want this image. Five people sitting around a table, drinking beer and eating buffalo wings. So the text to image tool would give something like this, but with the improved prompt and with the methodology that we are going to see the, in this paper, the output received is this idea to image. So there is quite significant improvement in the image quality and also in the, uh, especially with the number here, object count. So five people sitting. So here we can clearly see five people sitting. Another image, if you like to see an image of a hand holding an iPhone, the image is used for illustrating how to take a screenshot on iPhone. Now, screenshot on iPhone, we can see this text to image. This cannot be the hand position of taking a screenshot on iPhone. So this is the normal text to image output, but the idea to image output as described in this paper gives this image. This is quite the image of taking uh, a screenshot on iPhone. Now, visual design, a logo suitable for stylish hotel. So this is the output given by text to image generator. This is not quite the logo, but idea to image uh, method. We find this logo as output. Now we will be back for this again, but let's look at the methodology that is used to do something and achieve something like this. Now, before looking into methodology, let's read the abstract. We introduce idea to image, a system that enables multimodal iterative self-refinement of GPT-4 vision for automatic image generation and design. Humans can quickly identify the characteristics of different text to image models via iterative explorations. We are smart. This enables them to efficiently convert their high level generation ideas into effective text to image prompts that can produce good quality images. So this is us humans. We are superior as of now. We can create very good prompts. We can modify the prompts to, to get the best out of text to image generators or models. We investigate if systems based on large multimodal models, LMMs, can develop analogous multimodal self-refinement abilities that enable exploring unknown models or environments via self-refining tries. So the un unknown models it is talking about is the text to image models. So given any text to image model, which will be an unknown model at first, but once you give a prompt to the unknown model or text to image model and you get the output, Having a look at the output, you can see the capabilities of that text to image model. Now, in this paper, they are trying to develop this large multimodal models that will be able to understand the text to image generation models and then revise their prompts doing self learn. Image to idea to image cyclically generates revised text to image prompts to synthesize draft images. So draft images are created and provides directional feedback for prompt revision. Both contain conditioned 
on its memory of the probed text-to-image model characteristics. The iterative self-refinement brings idea-to-image various advantages over based text-to-image models. There are various advantages. We can now feel that there should be an improvement because that's a positive feedback that we are feeding because after seeing the draft images, we are modifying the prompt and we are also noting the previous prompts that we had, the previous images that we have. So that's a positive feedback loop that is inbuilt. Uh, notably, idea to image can process input idea with interweave interleaved image text sequences follow ideas with design instructions and generate images of better semantic and visual quality the user preference study validates the efficacy of multimodal iterative self-refinement on automatic image design and generation now we have already seen some of the examples in uh, earlier but this is the entire idea that is being said talked about so initially the multimodal user imagine idea to generate so my idea is photo of bill gates with the same hand gesture as this person given here with a dog that looks like this one in the image here so we have given a reference two reference images basically one is the image of a person the other is the image of a dog and we want the photo of bill gates with this dog in this hand gesture same hand gesture so initially this is the idea that we as humans are the person using this this tool the idea to image tool we will put forward our idea and that idea will be converted to a prompt or uh, generate initial and revised prompt so that is the initial prompt at first then this text prompt will be given to the unknown model or environment to explore text to image model that will generate draft images and out of those draft images and draft images the best draft image will be selected so draft image into one then feedback reflection or give text feedback so here feedback will be given to the lmm which is large multimodal model with memory so with memory because it remembers everything it remembers the best draft image it remembers the earlier comments that we give now after that it again goes through the loop this time with the revised prompt with all the difficulties and the challenges and the mistakes that we have seen uh, on the draft image so again we feed uh, the text with the revised prompt and again we do this and get an image so this is basically the loop that will go on and on until uh, it reach an, a definite number of iterations that you have specified but ultimately it is going to give you this output this output is you can see this is an image of bill gates a portrait of bill gates on the bustling city street with his right hand raised in a friendly wave with his palm facing forward standing next to a siberian husky with striking blue eyes and a playful tongue sticking out in a lively and welcoming setting with natural daylight so this is id idea one and in the idea two, we can see a photo of Bill Gates with the same suit as the given street. So we want to change the suit as well. So it gives the tie and the suit here as well. Idea three, we want a cartoon drawing of a person. Same with this dog. So there is a cartoon and there is a dog. So idea to image framework enables large multimodal models to mimic human-like exploration to use a text to image model enabling the design and generation of an imagined image specified as a multimodal input idea i hope this is clear now this is the flow execution again we have the user idea here prompt generation is the first step text prompt to the text to image generation models draft images are created we select the best image here then the best image is selected if the iteration is greater than max iteration then it prints out the best image but if there are number of iterations that you can do if the iteration is less than the max iteration then it goes to no there is a feedback reflection here text feedback is given here also the all previous best images all previous text prompts best text prompts are put here this is a memory and all previous rounds feedbacks user idea so everything is put in the memory and at the end of the iteration we have 
rounds and rounds of these will go on and at the end of the iteration whenever the iteration is l greater than the max iteration value then it will give the best image as output so let's look at the results for some of this so this is the results so for example here user input idea so five people sitting around the table drinking beer and eating buffalo wings so initial round manual prompt is this five people sitting around the table uh, drinking beer and eating buffalo wings so this is the initial prompt and what happens in the idea to image prompt is that a group of five friends sitting around a wooden table drinking beer and eating buffalo wings in a casual setting so this image has been modified and in the self-refined idea to image prompt here it observes the details of this image finds some mistakes for example five people are not visible clearly here so it redefines the prompt so then it says a group of five persons sitting friends are sitting around a wooden table with one person at the head of the table and two people on, on each side drinking beer and eating buffalo wings in a casual setting with a window in the background and a warm inviting atmosphere okay so let's take another example uh, this is an example of a cake a whole cake on a table with words azure research written on the cake so azure research here um, a cake on a wooden table with the words azure written on it on a blue icing with a white tablecloth and a vase of flowers in the background and it modified the prompt to this and this is a pretty good image so these images we have already seen so starting with these uh, images we can do the style transfer as well so a painting of a tennis uh, game in front of this camera angle with the image style similar to this one we can change we can have an image like this and we can also have these a look at these images so this is the same thing there are different examples so a photo of a dog looks like the one given so we want a photo that looks like this one it gives the output as this initial round and in the initial round of idea to image prompt we have this and the iterative round we have this so if you look at this doc and look at the initial image these are quite similar now these are the examples and the generation results now i want to show you something the draft uh, i want to show you the revised prompt generation this is going to be an interesting one uh, but before that i want to show you this draft image selection so how the image is selected so for example here input user is top down view of a whole cake on a table with words happy birthday written on the cake so out of these three images which one do you think is the one that should be selected the the best uh, among these so i think that the third one is the best and let's look at how does it do the selection so cake uh, zero which is image zero here the cake is present and the words happy birthday are written on the cake however the words are not written correctly okay happy birth d y b i t d the words are not written correctly and there is extra decoration on the cake that are not mentioned in the idea overall score is six in the image two we have the cake is present and the words happy birthday written on the cake however the, there are extra decorations on the cake that are not mentioned in the idea and moreover the spelling is wrong for the birthday image two which is this image the cake is present and the words happy birthday are written on the cake the cake is also on the table as mentioned in the idea however there are extra decorations on the cake that are not mentioned in the idea overall score is eight and therefore this image has the highest score six seven and eight this image has the highest overall score and follows the content in the idea so this is how the selection of the image is done in this step let me show you selection of the draft image and this step draft image selection so the selection is done using these scores uh, using these scores for each of the images now in the next step what i was about to show you is the results we have already seen this is the revised prompt generation how the prompts are being revised so for example here we have a person practicing yoga dolphin pose at beach a person practicing yoga a dolphin pose at the beach 
with clear blue water and white sand during sunrise. Now the text feedback is there. The person in the image is not practicing yoga dolphin pose, but it is in a different pose because the prompt has already mentioned dolphin pose. The AI model, art model, might not understand what a dolphin pose is. To address this problem, the sentence prompt should be modified to specifically mention what a dolphin pose. Posture where one balances on the forearms with the legs lifted, forming an inverted V shape with the body. So this is a revised prompt and image. A person on a sandy beach practicing yoga in the dolphin pose, which involves being on the on both forearms and toes with hips raised towards the ceiling and facing the ground as the waves gently crash the sun sets in the background causing a warm glow and a serene atmosphere surrounds the scene that's pretty great we can look at another image let's look at this one second one the plate that has no bananas on it there is a glass without orange juice next to it a breakfast scene with a plate that has no bananas and a glass without orange juice with a blue background and a bright lighting okay the image generated by the ai model doesn't follow the user defined idea of the scene as there are bananas on the plate and orange juice on the glass to address this this sentence prompt can be modified to spec specify that there should be no banana on the plate and no orange glass on the juice closer view of an empty plate with no other objects on it and an empty glass with orange empty glass without orange juice on the wooden table with a white background so basically you need nothing so that's a negative prompt that it needs to handle but since uh, it initially could not understand the meaning of no banana or without orange so after the iterations it was able to get the answer correct now if i head back to the results section initially that we have seen there we can now uh, clearly see the different things that it can do so object count there are five people sitting there were initially no clearly defined five people so it changed the prompt to five people knowledge the image of a hand holding an iphone so this is changed to this handing holding an iphone virtual design visual design we have seen this this is a logo intended usage the image of a car perfect for children's painting competition. This is very complicated car for a children painting competition. So it changes the the picture quality. And this is an image that can be drawn by the children. Prompt following. The plate has no and without. So it follows the prompt, negative prompt. Azure research written on the cake. So this is Azure research written on the cake. Concept customization and visual pointing. Photo of an object pointed by the blue arrow and a brown corgi dog. So it changed the direction to photo of an object pointed by the blue arrow. It changed the drawing, this one. Visual attribute referring. So cartoon drawing of Mr. Bean playing tennis with the same cloth and pose as in the given image. Initial image and a final image after text to image. After idea to image, we see this is the text to image output and this is the idea to image output. We can see the resemblance is pretty great. Opposite style transfer. Painting of a corgi dog with style different from this one image. So initially when we ask the text to image prompt uh, tool, it gives almost the same image as this style. But here after image uh, to idea to image uh, tool, idea to image transfer, we can see this. Next, style transfer we can do, the same style. Image manipulation, the drawing with the background change to this beach. We can do the visual designs, multiple core concept customization, blending image for new visual designs, uh, visual attributes referring in style transfer, in context entity and style transfer. There's so many things, so many use cases that you can have once you are able to fine tune and use this idea to image properly. So this is how uh, the development in the AI space have taken through. And this is an interesting paper that uh, was published just two days ago. And uh, hope you like this interaction. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel.
this is a new channel I've created to showcase the knowledge and uh, improvements in the AI space. Also, if you like this video, consider liking this video and sharing this video with your friends and families. Until then, next time, this is your host, Prompt Engineer, signing off. Bye-bye.